Today, I'm playing the entire career of Kenny Pickett. He starts off as a 74 overall in the starter of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to sim through each season, following each step of his career, starting as a rookie all the way until the day he retires. And each time Kenny Pickett and his team makes the Super Bowl, I have to play the entire game. Now the problem, if Kenny Pickett ends his career with zero Super Bowl wins, I have to discard his 99 overall Mike card for 100 coins. Come on, Kenny, let's go ahead and start things off hot with at least an offensive rookie of the year award year number one had the Steelers fair they went nine and eight like that's not bad in this division like that's respectable but they didn't make the playoffs honestly not a bad rookie season at all for Mr. Kenny Pickett almost 4,000 yards 31 touchdowns to only 10 interceptions 62 percent completion percentage that might be rookie of the year numbers no it went to Trevor Lords because this game is stupid that's not a real rookie but if it matters to you that's a mickey mouse award because kenny pickett really won the true offensive rookie of the year because he was the highest ranked actual rookie so a mini dub and he actually improved three overall throughout his rookie campaign not bad at all has star development there's just no way we start things off with the browns winning the super bowl 31 to nothing like that's just ridiculous but no reason to fret yet we literally have an entire career to make it to a super bowl like what's the front office doing i'm predicting a surprise Steeler playoff berth here in year number two in year number two, that's a bust. Why aren't we good? All we had to do was win one more game. I mean, another solid season from Pickett. 4,300 yards, 31 touchdowns to 13 picks. Like, honestly, with his progression so far, like, it's right on cue. I just have to bring it to your attention that Tom Brady somehow made his way onto the Jaguars. Unbelievable. Up two to a 79 overall, so slowly but surely still getting better. And progression from one year to the next is really all we can ask for. I also ask for a Super Bowl berth. So I can save my mutt coins. Not necessarily the Super Bowl matchup that I expected. Like, really, the highlight of the Steelers' offseason was signing Scotty Miller. So I really don't know how much better they're gonna be next year. Year three, all I ask for is a Kenny Pickett playoff berth. I have a bad feeling, though. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Let's go! Just above the Jets of all teams. Took them three years, but looks like the Steelers and Kenny Pickett have the best offense in the NFL as well. Can we already have a chance at our first? Super Bowl? That would honestly relieve so much stress. That has got to be a top 10 MVP caliber season. Kenny Pickett, 4,500 yards, 43 touchdowns, only six picks. Like, he might have actually won the MVP. No wonder we were so good. He had 23 rushing touchdowns, 1,700 yards. The receivers, they all balled out. Scotty Miller was the missing piece. <laughs> oh, please tell me he won the MVP in his third season. You got to be kidding me, Christian. So apparently so much has happened that that we missed. How did he end up on the Jets? I'm simming this to the Super Bowl and we better see the Pittsburgh Steelers in a matchup. And we do the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kenny Pickett made it happen in his third year? Bro, he might actually end up being a Hall of Famer. Let's get this bread, brother. Look at Kenny just in his third year. I honestly can't believe we've already made it here. It doesn't matter if we don't end this game with a dub. We have the ball first, so I want to get off to a little fast start here. I want to get a feel for the game, and that's hopefully not a sign of things to come. Can we just not go three and out? We gotta make a play here, Pat. We gotta make a play here. I think we actually just got stopped like a half a yard shy. Thank God for Najee Harris. Same play again, because that's like what we do here on Madden. Chase Claypool. Oh my God, wide open. Keep your feet in bounds. That's a dot. Najee Harris out of the backfield. That's a touchdown for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kenny Pickett strikes first. You just have to see who is their quarterback now. Jameis Winston's back in Tampa Bay? Bro, this is poetry. So we're gonna let the defense go out there and ball out on their own. Like, honestly, who likes playing defense? Get outside the pocket. Oh my God, on the run. Please get there, brother. Please get there. Please get there. Let's go! Wondell Robinson, the third year receiver, somehow got wide open. What a throw from Kenny Pickett. This video could not have got off to any better of a start. Another freaking field goal, guys. Dang, Brandon. Just take off, Kenny. Take off, slide. It's a first. Give me a second to throw the ball. Vito Vea's in my face, bro. This is the most, like, scary thing I've ever been a part of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of being wild right here, just calling random plays, but I guess we're here for it. We're just gonna take off once again. Kenny Pickett, get the outside. We're not gonna get there, are we? We're also gonna fumble. So that's just not really how I drew things up there. Oh my god, my defense actually got to stop. We blocked the field goal. 
Chase Claypool. He should be open. That is so underthrown. What happened there, Kenny? Oh, my God. They scored a touchdown just like that. It's a one-point game. Oh, wide open. Wide open over the middle. Chase Claypool. Thank you, Mr. TikTok. Pat again. Pat again. That's a first down of much more. At least maybe get a field goal out of this drive. Gotta get to some points. Field goal is good. Four-point lead. They took the lead. They actually took the lead. Like, I feel like I should be winning this like 500 to nothing. For some reason, like, throwing the ball sometimes just stresses me out. Small completions, small completions. I'll take the 10. Take the easy yards. Take the easy ones. Don't have to do anything too crazy. Oh, my God. We have a ton of space. We have a ton of space. That's the first. He's small with the football. Oh, that's a big guy in my face again. Can we pass protect, bro? Am I supposed to convert this, man? Hopefully catch this oh you gotta come down with it i don't know who our kicker is but this should be good tie game at least this is so freaking stressful wait how do we get the ball back i'll take it honestly whatever it takes here to get the win five minutes remaining i have to mickey mouse it i'll mickey mouse it oh my god like what just happened there how are we actually about to score a touchdown potentially here we actually got like four yards at a completely broken play Okay, Chase Claypool, let's get big, brother. Give me a first down. Give me more. Give me more, Anthony. Oh, the running back's wide open. That's Najee what? Harris. Steelers with the lead. We are three minutes shy of Kenny Pickett's what hopefully will be first of many Super Bowl trophies. I got a fourth and ten. We got to stop. One yard right here literally confirms a Super Bowl victory. Najee Harris. Like, that's actually... Hilarious. So like I'm in here on a fourth down and 19. I'm just running like man three deep here. Just play the sticks, bro. If anybody's gonna complete this though, it's gonna be Jameis Winston. No, just bat the ball. Bat the ball. Get it out of here. Let's go! Super Bowl win number one. Kenny Pickett at least gets one ring throughout his career. But the goal is for this just to be the first of very many. A Super Bowl though in year number three is pretty freaking impressive. Not only did he win the Super Bowl, he got himself a Super Bowl in the Cameron Hayward won a ring and just decided to dip. Why are we releasing Scotty Miller, man? He was the magical man. Kenny's up to an 83 overall now into year number four and did get boosted up to superstar development. No way Kenny goes back to back, right? They actually have a Super Bowl hangover? Not really, but can't complain about back to back 10 plus win seasons. I mean, still another phenomenal season. Maybe a little drop from last year. Less touchdowns, more picks, sacked a few more times. Freaking Patrick Mahomes stealing all the MVP awards. So him into the Super Bowl. Like, honestly, I'll be surprised if we make another one here. Oh my god, what is going on? There's no way we actually just made back-to-back -back Super Bowls. This should be a piece of cake. Hopefully, anyway. Defense coming out balling, giving us the ball right back. Their quarterback's apparently Jordan Love. Just give me time in the pocket here. Okay, that's just not as much time as I was anticipating. Najee Harris, I'm kind of just throwing it up to you, hoping you can come down with a gotcha. prayer. Oh! My God, Najee Harris, best receiver in football. Oh, ran the RBT special. Same play twice in a row. It's gonna work. Pat, get in the end zone. Oh, come on. Kenny, get the outside. Kenny, oh. Same play again, because it's just what we do here. That's a fumble. That's a fumble and a flag. There's just so much that's happening right now. It's kind of overwhelming. They just kicked a 57-yard field goal. Like, things are just now getting ridiculous. Give me time here. Give me time. He's open again. He's open again. On the run. Wondell Robinson. This same exact play from our first Super Bowl of the video. Give Slants time to develop. Oh my God, Kenny. He just fumbles too much. No. We should not be losing this game by 10 points. Oh my God. It's open again. Like both those guys were open. Like that's just a little bit too far, isn't it? Keep your feet about it, please. What a catch. Had to get on the drag. Pat, let me tell you, that's a versatile weapon. I really feel like we deserve to be winning this game. Maybe you can make this catch. Conservative catch, let's go! I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know who that is. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this play doesn't miss. This play doesn't miss. Wondell Robinson into the end zone and much deserved. The Steelers and Kenny Pickett regained the lead and this time we're not gonna lose it. Wait, we're getting the ball back again? Like, honestly, I feel like that was, like, beautiful in the pocket. 
Pat coming back to the ball. Pat's gonna make the catch and hang on to it. Honestly, we're moving the ball pretty well. Oh my god, a beautiful play design. Najee Harris against the blitz. Can we spin inside? We do. We get a few extra yards. Najee has the inside. He's gonna make the catch. He makes a lot of contested catches. I'm waiting on Pat to get open. I'm waiting on Pat. Can you make this catch? He's gonna make the catch. Down at the one. You know what's cool here? Like, I'll never forgive myself. I think we should. And it's too easy. It is too freaking easy. Crazy enough, on the defensive drive, we got an interception. It got the ball down immediately at the one. Najee Harris, let's hopefully make this a three-score game. There's zero chance the Commanders come back. It didn't get any better for the Commanders. Kenny Pickett and the Steelers, he can't believe it. They go back-to-back. -back. Two Super Bowl wins in four years. He's going into his contract year as well, so they might pay him a billion dollars. All Kenny wants is for you to listen to today's sponsor. I'd like to give a massive shout out to Canada Dips for sponsoring today's video. Canada Dips CBD is an absolute game changer. And as someone who struggles to fall asleep, this bad boy has helped me an absolute ton. Canada Dips is made proudly in America and proudly for a CBD product that actually works. The product designed to be used by men for anywhere at any given time. If you want to try them out, I highly suggest getting the five pack. They have tangy citrus and tropical mango. Mango. I like the mango, but it's hard to beat the tangy citrus. And just for you guys, Canada Dips is offering 30% off their entire site. That includes all their core flavors and their limited products. Keep in mind that Canada Dips is a CBD dip that is both tobacco and nicotine free. You can head over right now to CanadaDipsCBD.com or just simply click the link in the description box below. Make sure to use code RBT for 30% off the entire site. I love EA Sports. Into his contract season, he's an 86 overall now. I can't believe with two Super Bowl rings, he doesn't have Superstar X Factor yet. And I lied, it actually looks like they already signed him to a contract extension. He's now making 20 million a year for the next three years. What I actually want to do here is we're going to simulate to the end of the 2027 season and see what happens with Kenny Pickett for what will be contract number three. This man looks like he's going to be a stealer for life. He signed another contract extension. Now he's almost making 30 million dollars a year. In 2025, he didn't have a Super Bowl berth. Once again, 2026, no Super Bowl berth. But back to what it weighs in 2027. That's his third ring already. Not to mention his third Super Bowl MVP. Poor Commanders. But he's now up to a 92 overall. Still hasn't got Superstar X Factor. Like, what does it take to get that? Some of these seasons are absolutely mental. Threw for 5,000 yards his last season. And ironically, still hasn't won an MVP. He's only won Offensive Player of the Week once. End of his next contract. Here we come. Is he really about to be a stealer for life? They keep signing him to these lame one-year extensions, but like at the end of the day, he's making $35 million a year now. No ring in 28. No ring in 29. Oh my god, another ring for Kenny Pickett in 2030. We beat the Rams this time. That's four Super Bowl rings and four appearances. He's a 91 overall at 35 years of age. I mean, he's literally not had a bad season in his entire career. Like, what a legend. Kenny's now 38 years old, and he's still killing it with the Steelers. He still hasn't won one MVP. This man has committed 16 years of his life now to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bro, are you ever gonna retire? And there it is. Kenny Pickett lasts 17 years in the NFL, all with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Safe to say he's a little bit of a legend at this point. He literally ends his career six all-time in passing yards. He finishes fourth in all-time passing touchdowns touchdowns officially ends his career with four Super Bowl rings and if you enjoyed me playing Kenny Pickett's entire career click the video right here this is what the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy and trust me we never question the algorithm subscribe too please it'll make me smile